Hello class. This is the first video covering activity 5.3 where we will learn to simplify rational expressions, we'll learn to multiply and divide rational expressions. So let's take a look at the first example. I, I want to walk you through maybe two or three examples and then we'll practice some problems. All right, so example one, here is the rational expression and, and the way to tackle this would be to factor the numerator and then factor the denominator, okay? So they've done that for us down here. Right, you'll notice the 4x minus 8 factors to 4 times the quantity of x minus 2, and the 10x minus 20 factors to 10 times the quantity of x minus 2. Now, we can cancel terms, right? The x minus 2, we can cancel that. And we're going to be left with just the 4 over 10. Okay, so once we've canceled out the x minus 2s, we're left with 4 over 10, which reduces to 2 over 5. So the 2 over 5 is your final answer. And we're done. Okay, so again, when we're trying to simplify or reduce a rational expression, Factor the numerator, then factor the denominator, and then simplify where you can, okay? If we look at example two, again, we're going to factor the numerator and the denominator, all right? So the 5x squared minus 5, you see that that factors into 5 times x minus 1, x plus 1. Now, if you don't see that, just think of it as, right, we can factor out the 5 and you're left with x squared minus 1. But remember, the x squared minus 1 is a difference of two squares. So that would leave me with x um, minus 1, x plus 1. Okay, so that's the numerator and that's represented up here. The x squared minus 4x plus 3, well, that's a trinomial, right? Remember, that was the what two numbers when multiplied uh, resulted in the last term, but when added, uh, resulted in the middle term. All right, so I need two numbers that when multiplied give me three, but when added give me negative uh, four. So negative one times negative three equals positive three, and when I add those, I end up with negative four. So that's where we end up with my um, x minus one x minus three, right? That's where this comes from, okay? So now that we've factored the numerator and the denominator, we can cancel our factors, right? So I think I can cancel the x minus one and the x minus one. And you'll see we're gonna be left with this five times x plus one, right? Here's five times the quantity of x plus one divided by x minus three, right? So that would be my final answer. Okay, let's try a few practice problems. All right, so let's do some, maybe some of the even ones. All right, so if I look at number, well, actually, you know what? I'm gonna start with number one. All right, so for number one, I'm gonna factor the numerator. So I factor out a two and I'm left with x plus three. And on the denominator, I simply have 10. So the 10 and the 2 can be reduced to 1 over 5, right? x plus 3 over 5. So you can leave your answer as 1 times x plus 3 over 5, but most people would probably just leave this as x plus 3 over 5. All right, so it looks something like this. x plus 3 over 5. And, and that would be my final answer. Okay, if you left the one in front, that's fine as well. All right, so that's number one. Let's take a look at number four. All right, number four, if we factor the numerator, I'm going to factor out a 7x, and I'll be, I'm going to, I guess I'll be left with x in the front minus two. All right, so that's my numerator. And on the denominator, again, this is going to be, uh, we're going to factor a trinomial. So it's 
right? You're thinking of what two numbers when multiplied result in negative six, but when added result in positive one. Um, so I'm thinking uh, negative two times positive three would work, right? So on the denominator, you're going to write x minus two times x plus three. Okay, and then look at that. The x minus twos will cancel. So I'm left with x, 7x over x plus 3 as my final answer. Okay? Let's move on. Let's try problem 2. All right, so I want to factor my numerator. So if I factor out a 3, I have x minus 3 on the top. On the bottom, you have to note that that's the difference of two perfect squares. All right, so think of that as the a squared minus b squared equals a minus b times a plus b. So in our case, we're going to write x minus 3, x plus 3. And then the x minus 3s will cancel, and I'm left with 3 over x plus 3. And we're done. Okay, let's move on to number five. All right, number five, I have a trinomial at the top. So you're going to ask yourself, what two numbers when multiplied would leave you with negative four, but when added uh, result in negative three? Um, so to get negative four, I'm thinking if we did one times negative four, that would result in negative four. And when we add those, we have negative three. All right, so that's my winner. So my numerator would be x plus 1, x minus 4. My denominator, remember, this is the difference of two perfect squares, similar to problem 2, right? The denominator on problem 2 was the difference of two perfect squares. The a squared minus b squared equals quantity a minus b times quantity a plus b. So remember, 1 is a perfect square, so we have x minus 1, x plus 1. And by the way, I just realized I wrote the letter x, and in this problem, they have t's, right? So uh, when I clean this up, I'll replace my x's with t's. All right, so now we have an x plus 1 on the top and an x plus 1 on the bottom. Cross those out, uh, leaving you with x minus 4 over x minus 1. And again, I, I made a boo-boo. Right? The problem actually has t, so perhaps we can um, write t minus 4 over t minus 1. Okay? So I'm going to stop here, and then we'll, we'll finish up a few more problems in the next video.